My name is Ryan, this is Auto Detour, and today should be kind of a fun video. We got a couple of things going on. First things first, we gotta change the oil on the truck. This is my 2003 Ford F-150. It has a single 76 millimeter turbo under the hood, and we're gonna change the oil for the first time since Thanksgiving of 2019. <laughs> That's when we took the truck to the dyno after the build was done. That's the last time we put oil in this thing. Gramps has had a few blood infusions since then, since it burns about a quart every thousand miles or so. But we need to get that changed out of there. But we got a race coming up with Pat from Patman Super Crew or Patman's Garage. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel down below. Uh, but we can't be doing that on old oil. It's pastime, <laughs> to say the least. So. The other thing we're doing today is I'm actually hopping in the truck right now. We're going to be taking the the block and all the new parts for the new engine build and we're going to have Tyler build the short block for us. We're going to have him assemble all the rotating assembly. So we're headed there now to drop that off. Then we'll come back. We'll drain the oil out of Gramps, see how it looks, and get some fresh oil in there to prepare us for the next set of videos. So let's jump right into it. skipped a beat on the shift but just realized that it was the engine <laughs> it was the old engine block sliding back and smacking my tailgate and it shook the whole truck <laughs> uh, whoopsie but we're not handing off the motor to Jake we're handing it off to Tyler here uh, Tyler's a an engine builder uh, he's also a Ford guy yep so gotta like that we just loaded up the uh, the two blocks he's gonna go dispose of that old cast crank and that that old block there but he's got the new block and all the parts and pieces in his truck uh, and he's gonna get that at least the short block put together for us uh, and then we can have some fun doing doing the easy part yeah <laughs> so anyway it's headed off to Tyler's uh, we're gonna head back to the house we got to change the oil on the truck but again thanks Tyler yeah, no problem. and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on where it's at Back at the house now, the truck is up on the ramps, uh, getting ready to get the oil drained out of here. I know I said I haven't changed the oil since Thanksgiving of 2019, which is a long time. It's definitely longer, but I don't drive the truck a whole lot. I think we finished up the turbo install and did the tuning right around 108,000 miles, and the truck now has 100, just turned 112,000 miles, so about 4,000 miles in the last almost year and a half now. Anyway, the mileage isn't terrible. I've been running a full synthetic. Today we're going to be using Mobile One full synthetic again with 10W30. Uh, we are running 10W30 because of the turbo. Running a Wix uh, full synthetic 
oil filter. So we're gonna get these guys put in there. Sorry if you're one of those motorcraft or nothing guys, this isn't gonna be your favorite video. After we get the oil drained and changed, we're gonna pull the catch can too. So there was a little bit of debate on my Instagram, I posted a picture last time the catch can was full. I'll put a picture here and here. The catch can was a little bit frothy. Uh, and so a lot of people thought it blew the motor. When we drop the oil, we'll take a look at the oil, make sure we'll show that there, well, cross our fingers, that there's no coolant in the oil because obviously that would mean like a blown head gasket. Gotta get Gramps' bedpan out of here. All right, let's crawl under here. It's been a while since I've been under here, honestly. This is the source of our oil leak. My oil drain hose is leaking and it's leaked from day one on the install. I think I just didn't do something right on the AN fittings. I just haven't found the time or, or the motivation to fix that. Uh, here's our shiny front diff from the boys over at the Ford dealer getting our four wheel drive fixed. If you want to check that video out, I'll put a link uh, right up here in the corner of the video here. Uh, but we got that guy fixed up so we could go out and do our four wheel drive donuts. Other than that, super clean under here. Let's get that drain plug out of there and see how this oil looks. I feel like the lunch lady serving pizza with these clear vinyl gloves on. Well, there's oil dripping out. That's a good sign. Mmm, smells delicious. All right, well, there it is. Nice and black. Not sparkly at all. It's obviously a good thing. And I don't see any signs of any coolant in it. So, Gramps stock motor is safe for now. Uh, it looks good. I mean, other than just being black, it's definitely ready to be changed. So now on to my least favorite part, changing the oil filter. This is a good spot to see where my oil supply line is teed off of where the, uh, right behind, Let's see if I can get my hand in there. You can see the fitting right there and the braided line going up to the turbo. So that's the one you see going in the top of the turbo. We teed into the, the oil pressure sending unit. You can actually, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's actually aimed down, down here, uh, towards the differential. There we go. There's a little better view of it. It's really hard to get a camera and a light in here. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a little better view from the front. You can see the oil pressure sending unit is almost touching the top of the front differential here. This plastic piece running right here, this arced piece. Uh, is actually just a cover over the differential so that when you pull the when you pull, pull the oil filter off when the oil drains out it drains right down this channel right down here into your oil drain pan yeah it's not a fun one to get to uh, if you don't have the oil filter relocation that puts it outside the frame here it comes that's a handy little piece they put on there, otherwise that would make a big mess. Sorry guys, my GoPro battery died and, I mean, I know you really wanted to see me screw that oil filter back on, but you'll just have to trust me, it's on there. So, before we put oil in here, we're gonna check the catch can here, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, pull a little dipstick here. Mmm, see that? Nice. Nice and creamy. So the catch can is full again, which it fills up quickly in the cold months, uh, just cause of all the condensation. Let's pull the can here and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. There we go, that's what it looks like. Yummy, huh? Every time I post a picture of this, uh, and last time it just happened to be so full that it was coming out, coming out the air filter on the top of the catch can. Everybody seems to think that I blew my motor because they think it's coolant. Uh, and it's actually not. It's just crap from the condensation from the oil. So 
Every truck gets this, even ones that aren't turbocharged. If you've ever pulled the oil cap, uh, and I would, but I can't, because I can't get to it under the turbo. I can't, I literally can't unscrew it. Uh, but the oil cap will have that green froth on the bottom of it and people get really worried, and rightfully so, because uh, somewhere along the line somebody told them that that means their head gasket's blown. Uh, these trucks, it just it's really common for that to be on there. It's just condensation from the motor. You get more of it in the cold months. The same thing happens here. Mine just happens to get caught in the catch can. And we'll go dump it out. You'll see that the majority of this is actually just water from the condensation. Not a paid product placement for Culver's, by the way. <laughs> so we're gonna dump it in the cup here. Let's see the majority of it. Wow, see the big booger falls off the top. But the majority of it is just water from condensation. Then you have the leftover froth. The same froth you get on the bottom of your oil cap. Uh, totally normal. Totally nasty, but in my case, I have a catch can, so my my engine isn't stuffing that back into the intake and burning it. Fun catch can facts. Now for the fun part. So as I just mentioned a minute ago, uh, I literally cannot get to my oil cap. You can see it there just buried under the, the downpipe there. Because of that, you get the fun task of filling the oil all six quarts of it through the dipstick tube. Nailed it. All right, as you can see, this is gonna take a while. go after 16 minutes of straight oil pouring it's time to get the truck down off the ramps then what do you say we take the truck out for a little rip all right okay that oil pressure came up that's a good sign Let's take Gramps out for a quick spin before we end today's video. We got another Gramps over here. Alright, we'll give it just a little, a little mini rip for you guys here. going to do it for today's video i got to get gramps race ready for my next video uh be sure you do, be sure you go subscribe to pat's channel i'll put the link in the description down below and i'll put it on the bottom of the screen here we got a little race video that we're putting together between our two trucks he has a two-wheel drive super crew that he has coyote swapped with a coyote 5.0 just think it'll be a super interesting video to to compare two completely unique trucks his happens to be silver as well so uh, in that sense, they look very similar, but his is a great looking truck, uh, and I can't wait for this video. This video is going to go live on his channel first. Be sure you go subscribe to his channel. Uh, he's going to be putting that video up. I'm going to be putting some clips together for him, and it uh, should be a fun one. And then after his goes live, 
I'll be putting one together for you guys on my channel as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a great night. I'll talk to you next time.